the temporary um, Indian cotton sheet um, save the self-planted tomatoes and um, because I didn't have time to put up something to arrange something in the heat to um, it was more professional so this is the plant protection material and that will go up today and then probably will have to be removable because of the the bad tramontan winds because that would just if they appear later and I'm not here that will just tear everything apart so um, yeah they survived the tops of the my self-planted tomato were burning up in the in the um, sun hey you what what you doing huh mew mew He's complaining. <laughs> it's early in the morning and he's complaining I'm making a video <laughs> and not feeding him. Such is life of the garden persona. Um, yeah, so the sun's getting hot at 20 to 10 on the 28th of June 2019 and uh, the layering is protective, the, that helps a lot when you layer the plants, but if I had lost my... There's a little, you see the top part, ah, I've lost some starting tomatoes because I wasn't fast enough. The top part of the plant is the most sensitive and uh, they were burning. I see some burnt leaves but I stopped in time. And uh, what I've done is I've layered in um, cantaloupe melon and watermelon that I've uh, totally covered with straw because of the the bad snails and because um, they eat the top of the plant if you don't protect them. And I don't want to use toxin or poison or anything, especially not with the cats. The cats will go behind in the straw and look for shade so um, and that's buckwheat and that can be left to grow or harvested I'm just doing this in, as an experiment it can be dug back into the soil to provide nutrients and I covered it with straw and it's coming up really well but now I'll show now later the new cover that I have to do fast or else I'll be burning in the sun. Oh no, I was just about to cut this and put it out. <laughs> It's gone straight onto my plant material because it's cooler and cleaner. <laughs> I'll do that later because I've got to do some filming too. <laughs> 